How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing a new game today. It's called Angelica Weaver. Catch me when you can. Not if you can, but when you can. So this is from a developer I haven't actually recorded anything from, I don't think, Mumbo Jumbo. But we're going to go ahead and get cracking in here. Actually, you know what? Let's just tweak the music just a touch. Oh no. Nah, let's keep it on. Oh look, you can turn the voice over off. That's kind of clever. Turn the music down just a touch. Uh, this game has achievements. Oh, it's got a couple screens worth. Whoa. And this is the standard edition, so it has no study guide. Let's play. Very spiritual. Black cat. It's a creepy black cat. It's a yellow eyes. I like the setting for it. Who's this dude? I'm gonna follow him. There's no way you're getting away from us. Wait, why do I hear horses? Whoa, we're back in time. What happened? Creepy. Catch me when you can. Alright, so would you like some tutorial help during the game? I've never played any of this uh, game developers, so we're going to go ahead and hit a yes. Chicago Cicero, Dorset Street, November, September. This oh. vision was more vivid and intense than what I experienced on my last case. This villain has killed before. They will not stop. They enjoy the pattern and they enjoy the game. I felt what the latest victim felt. I saw what he saw. A pursuit that started in the present, ended in the past, at a place that resembled the dead end where Andrew Chapman died last night. Creepy. When the cursor changes to an eyeball, it indicates an area of interest. So we're going to go ahead and do that, get our badge, because, yeah. Angelica's dream catcher is a hint that will find a specific hidden object or show you what to do next. Oh, so I gotta look for those, do I gotta... I gotta look for the dream catchers. Oops. There's my PDA. Ooh, it's like a flashlight. Collected tools, go to your inventory. Put your cursor on the tool you want to use. Left click to attach it to the cursor. Okay. Why do we. Oh, hello. Yeah. A police medal of valor and a purple heart. Did I get injured? Who is this dude? He looks kind of creepy. Murder investigation. Andrew Chapman. I don't know if there's anything else in here I need. Coffee cups all over there. Okay, so here's the journal. I have to look around the exterior and the interior. Or exterior only. Cell phone. Oop. What does this mean? I don't know. Okay, let's go. Enter the house. Oh shoot, I wasted a hint. Ooh, dream catcher. Oh, that's kind of neat. We're going to be collecting dream catchers. That's excellent. I like it already. This neighborhood is no stranger to violence, but tonight the press is in a frenzy. They sense a different type of murder has come to hunt. Murderer has come to hunt. Try not to rush these. Sorry about that. Ooh. Show yourself. I like how they've got her kind of expressive down here. That's kind of neat. 
Uh, what did we get? A rubber mat. A. Chapman, Dorset Street. Andrew won't be worrying about the electric company raising its rates. Okay. The victim's house key wasn't included in the briefing package, so we're gonna break it. Can we use this? No. Whoa, what do we have here? Alright, we can probably shovel there. A key! Alright, cool. So we're looking for dream catchers, apparently, for hints. Whoa, come on. Wanna be all particular? In badges, too. Foot in the door. Congratulations, you found a way into Andrew Chapman's house. Oh, maybe there's no hints. Cool! Find all the objects in the list if you click an object name. Angelica gives a glimpse of what it looks like. Oh, that's different. Anything listed in blue is hidden from sight. Search for something in the scene that you can open. Anything listed in green is an object described with a clue rather than its regular name. Huh. How clever. So if I do gun case. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, so keeps a pet near. So it's a leash. Maybe. Cell phone. Wow, this is actually interesting. So I wonder if there's going to be dream catchers in the hidden object scenes too. Uh, the computer is not touched, so information may not have been the motive. This guy's got his craft, or not his craft dinner, his uh, microwave dinner, I guess you'd say. Cool. Oh, there's a leash right there. Hello. Chapman left the house in a hurry with his pistol. Artificial day. What does that even mean? Like a flashlight, maybe? No, no need for the knife, apparently. Chapman was a widower. His ring is missing. It isn't in the box, and it wasn't on the body. Ooh, kind of a thick accent there. That's okay, it's all good. It's all part of the fun. So cash, crematory urn, which is here. So cash. There's dust under the urn. A killer returned and planted this. Huh. Cash. An artificial day. What does that mean, artificial day? Oh, there's cash. We're going to go ahead and... Robbery was not the motive. No, the laptop was there too. Artificial day. Isn't that just a flashlight? Ugh. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just a light bulb. Oh, cool. Numbered brick. Okay, why did I get a hint for a numbered brick? What's the number brick all about? Where the hell is it? Hint. Oh! It's actually a numbered brick! This brick is hand-painted. I need to collect all I can find and see how they relate to Chapman's murder. Okay, we will do that. Ooh, what do we have here? Dreamcatcher, thank you. It kind of reminds me of the bugs from uh, Campfire Legends. I'm liking it. Liking it a lot. Old uh, DVR it says here, but it looks like a VHS, but I'm sure. Whoa, what do we have here? The man definitely had his skills. So we have our remote control. He's got. Look at this guy. He's a jogger, he's a karate dude, and a marksman. Uh, painting. Hunters and their prey. Cool. This game is really neat. What got Chapman out of the house was not subtle. Oh, everything's all busted up. Jeez, that was loud. Number 52, we will take. There's something down here, can't reach it, can't risk turning on the disposal. Multi-tool is not very multi at this point. Why have dishes 
Why have dishes drying on a counter when you have a dishwasher? Never trust an electrical appliance and a puddle of water. I need to take a safety measure before I can check out the area. What about the mat? Yeah. The dishwasher was meant to get my attention. It's locked and running the killer's cycle to remove evidence. The hunt is being made into a personal... Oops, I skipped over it. It won't shut off, and the door won't unlock without the knob. Okay, so we need a knob, do we? Cool. So we need to somehow... Where else can we go? We'd have to go outside, I think. Sure, why not? Ooh, number 35. Cool. We have three bricks. Whoa, what's with the lights? Whoa! Creepy shadow, follow! Ooh, a ladder. Nothing like a good ladder to get things going. Anything else in here interesting? Another brick. And a badge, cool. Uh, I don't know if I've got everything, if it uh, will leave or not, but... No, that doesn't seem to work. What do we have here? No water is coming out of the drain. Can we get up there and figure out what's going on up there? A brick. Is that it? Oh, and a badge. I wonder what the badges are for. Maybe they're just collectibles. This motion activated light got some use. Too bad it didn't come equipped with a camera. Indeed. This entrance is rusted, and it hasn't been opened in months. What about all this? Blowing here. Chapman, this must be his garage. Chapman's old lock was removed, and someone attached a brand new one. Random. No random numbers. We need the code. Alrighty then. Wood. Ooh, screwdriver. Badge. Six bricks. How many am I going to need? Something's in there. This scrub brush is in the way. Multi-tool? No. Why wouldn't multi-tool work? Oh, well. Let's go this way. It's dark over here. Can we use our cell light now? Yes, we can. Screwdriver, it should work. Wires are all cut. The casing needs to be stripped away to repair it. Can I use multi-tool for that? Should be able to, yeah. And even be able to put them back, too. Wait, what? Why can't I put it back? Maybe I need... Oh, hello, dishwasher thingamajiggy. I need you. Uh, light on the subject. No? Okay, let's go back to the dishwasher. Oh, I see. It's 7 out of 40. I just noticed that. Cool. For all you folks that like things to collect. I had my day when I would definitely spend time playing a game just for that stuff, but uh, not anymore. Plate! The killer is arrogant. Evidence was put on display and set to be washed clean while I investigated. Mm. There is nothing to trace on Chapman's shoe. The killer ate a leisurely meal using the place setting, but the antique plate is all wrong. It looks turn of the century and does not fit with any of Andy Chapman's belongings. Dun dun dun! Anything else in here? No? Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, we need those. I know why. We need them, too. Let's go. Let's go fix the lamppost. Yeah, what do you guys think of this game? I know this is only the first episode, but uh, what do you think? What are your uh, gut reactions to it? I've been playing a lot of elephant games The killer lately. is playing games. A black light was put in the street light. The lab team has no idea about the invisible ink. Ooh. The outline of the body was made by the killer in the invisible ink. The killer covets where the victim died and may have specifically positioned the body. 
The arms are in the 8 o'clock position. Today is the 8th. Maybe the number is important, maybe not. So, 8. Whoa, what do we need here? We need 10 bricks and we only have 7 crud. Is that all we need to do? Alright, so we need more bricks, folks. We need to get in the scrub. Spray paint. Uh, I don't know if that matters. No? Go this way, I guess. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe we turn the TV on or something. Remote. Try now. Oops. Channel 187. This program was paused after the killing and after the forensics team went over the home and crime scene. And channel 187 was no accident. That's the police call number for homicide. Hmm. Dun dun dun. So I'm gonna assume maybe that's the code for the, the lock here. Because it's got three digits. One. Eight. Seven. Yay. Welcome says me. The badge will I can. A weaver's loom. The killer enjoys the chase and has made it personal. Oh, we need those. We totally... Oh, crowbar! Hello. Welcome to the party. The loom won't work until the ropes are removed by untying the knots. What does that even mean? Oh, okay. You have to remove certain ones, it looks like. Uh. Oh, good grief. Oh boy. Reset. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yay. A master weaver. Oh, another brick. Brick me up. Crowbar's gotta be useful. Anything else in here before we move on? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, let's keep on keeping on then. Go this way. Oh, wait, back, back, back. Maybe there's a brick in here. Snip, snip, snip. Indeed there is. Oh, we still need one more brick. Crud. Okay, there was a brick in here. But there isn't here now. There's a dream catcher, though. So what can I do with a crowbar? I don't know if I can do anything here? No. What's with the spray paint, too? I got all these questions. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Journal. What's the journal saying? I'm going to need to repair it. Okay, so we've actually have repaired it. We need one more brick. Hint me. Examine the grate. Oh, crud. I didn't even think of that. Too dark. How many people actually use their, their um, Android or their iPhone for the light app? I know I usually use it at night, but I don't really usually use an app. I just kind of walk around with the thing on when it's pitch dark. Do you guys actually use yours for that too? I'm curious. Okay, what are we doing here? Is this some sort of Sudoku? Sudoku? Is that how you say it? I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we either have seven. Seven and eight, maybe? Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks like that should fit there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine. It's going to be this one. One, two, three. So we need a four. Oh. 
That's not going to work. One, two, three. Should be four. Oh, there it is. Four, nine. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's probably here. This is kind of clever. I kind of like this puzzle. One, two, we're missing. Three, four, five, six. So two, nine it is. I guess it's this way too. One. So it's probably one of these ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four. So we need five. And this one here is probably this one. And this one and this one. Oh. Okay. Yay, we did it, folks. Oh, and another brick. Oh, what's this? I may send you the bloody knife if you only wait a while longer. Catch me when you can, Miss Weaver. Ah, oh, excellent. Well, that's a good place for us to stop for now. Let me know what you think about the game. Angelica Weaver, catch me when you can. Oh, we're this gonna... woman has wounds nearly identical to those found on Andrew Chapman's body. But her shredded clothes are from a hundred years ago. Indeed. The bodies fell or were positioned the same way. No signs of a struggle. The killer either surprised him or was never perceived as a threat. The impression on her finger indicates that she wore a ring. It's missing, but her purse is here.